Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video. So Microsoft has released some new devices. Well, maybe some of you were expecting those, but many of us definitely lost the fate on Microsoft. Most surprisingly was the release of the Surface Phone or so-called Surface Duo. I don't know why they called it Duo. I mean, I know why they called it Duo because it has a dual screen, but the name is kind of weird going like forward. If the device is going to be successful, what will they call it in the future? Um, yeah, Surface Duo 1, Surface Duo 2, Surface Duo 3. It will work, but the name is definitely weird. I like more the name of the Surface Neo, which is the 9 inch tablet. Well, 9 inch tablet, one display is 9 inch and the other display is also 9 inch. Uh, I really like the Surface Neo, but what worries me about the Surface Neo is I saw the pencil was at the back of the device, uh, just holding by magnets, which is very easy to lose it because, for example, on the Galaxy Note 10, you have uh, that hole where you stick it in. Well, not only on the Galaxy Note 10, but most of the galaxies you just press on the pencil and it comes out or or it goes back in. Uh, you don't lose it like that and the device is also pretty slim. All these devices that Microsoft uh, showed to us, they are very very slim. Um, I was impressed by how slim they are. I'm a little worried about the battery life but well, um, they do definitely look cool. So back to the point of the pencil, the Surface Neo has the pencil like sticked at the back of the device which uh, that's the only place where you can hide it. I mean, there is no hole or anything to hide it. I didn't see anything. So yeah, that definitely kind of got me worried. Why they didn't make it like on the Surface X, which on the Surface X, I really liked uh, how you open the device and then it has like a, a little hole for it. You still can lose it. It definitely has its own spot. I guess most of you are more interested in the Surface uh, duo uh, the phone I, because yeah I grow this channel with Android of course as well but mainly with Windows devices and since Windows 10 Windows 7 Windows 8 died uh, well um, my channel also kind of went a bit down but it is what it is so from what I've seen from the device like I've said previously it's really slim and it's not the idea of uh, Galaxy Fold which both screens is only one screen and then it folds but yeah that idea it's better but we are not there yet because we see in the Galaxy Fold we see in the middle where the screen it's folding and even on the Huawei X I think it was a Huawei X or no Xiaomi X which was folding outside and not inside you can still see where the screen it's folding uh, so we are not there yet with having one screen and folding it i think this idea it's better for the moment of course going forward microsoft maybe will try to go full screen uh, but like i said we are not there yet and since microsoft showed the surface duo a lot of people like like it and a lot of people don't like it because uh, doesn't come with Windows and it comes with Android. Well, I will say that Microsoft did the right thing. You might, you guys might hate on me uh, by saying that, but uh, let's look back at Windows devices, at Lumias more or less. Yeah, I liked it as well, but many people didn't like it. So Microsoft is trying to catch as many people as it could. And another thing is Microsoft is really smart on this one because as we saw with smartphones, Microsoft was always very late into the market. And right now with these folding devices, they come straight on the beginning and they come with Android. That's why they choose Android because Android is, is used almost by everyone. So it was a good choice. Of course, if you use Microsoft services, the device is going to be full with Microsoft services. Yeah, there is Google services as well. I don't like, for example, on normal devices like the Note 10 or like other Android devices where there's a bunch of apps, Google apps and even other apps which you can't uninstall. You can only disable that. That's the thing that I hate mostly about Android. If you use Android and if you tried Microsoft Launcher, then uh, Microsoft is doing a really good job with that launcher. So of course this Surface Duo is gonna have a Microsoft Launcher. I'm not sure if it's gonna use the Microsoft Launcher or if it's gonna have a separate launcher for this device, but it's definitely not gonna be straight up Android. So yeah, definitely a lot of people are with uh, different opinions about that. But like I've said, Microsoft is doing the right choice because they want as many people 
as possible using their devices, using their services. And this is the beginning. Maybe in the future with the other devices, if they start to grow up, maybe Microsoft is going to use Windows on this Surface Duo, this Surface Phone. Uh, but for the moment they did the right choice because on Android you have all the apps and apps is the problem with every OS because why I think other companies don't try to create their own OS because first of all it's very hard to create an OS, very hard to sustain it and thirdly it's very hard to have developers to make their apps and then of course people will not use that OS because there's no apps. That's what kinda killed Windows Mobile. If people would have used the OS, of course Microsoft wouldn't kill it. Well, they kinda had to because uh, there was only a small niche of people using Windows Mobile. As for me, I'm not gonna buy this Surface Duo for now. At least the first generation, I'm not gonna buy it always. It doesn't matter if it's Microsoft, Samsung, whatever company, first generation of the device it's good but uh, it's not perfect you know so the second generation is gonna be better hopefully but definitely let's wait to see what will happen but anyway really excited about it let me know guys in the comments what you think about uh, this big release of microsoft and i see you on the next one